How did it feel to get out there in the, the first game against a, a team like that, an SEC team, uh, you know, and first get the season underway? And secondly, you had a pretty good start. Yeah, no, um, it definitely felt good to get out there again uh, after a long fall camp. Um, I think guys were just ready to see a new color and face face some different players. And I know for me personally, I felt comfortable out there. It felt good to run around again and, you know, fly around with my teammates. But, yeah, it felt pretty good just to get out there again. So. You really had, you know, a great start to the game. That first drive, you know, uh, incompletion, I think, on the first one. But you really found some openings. And obviously, the closing speed, the speed overall was yeah. great. But, you know, talk about running routes, finding that opening against that team. Yeah. Um, you know, from a receiver standpoint, it's really just all about getting in the rhythm. And, you know, once you get, like, that first catch out of the way, it's like, OK, I'm going to groove now. I'm ready to keep rolling. And uh, yeah, it's just, you know, just getting lined up and running our stuff and, you know, making routine plays, so. You've had uh, experience now with, uh, well, with the SEC. You were over Penn State for a while and, of course, the MAC last year. So how do you feel about the, the speed and uh, the physical nature of the, their defense, uh, you know, when how you could match up with that. Yeah, and I think it's always, you know, good to be honest and upfront. And when you're playing an SEC team versus a MAC team, obviously there's going to be guys that are bigger, faster, and, you know, more physical and stuff like that. But I think for me it's just always, you know, just sticking to my game. You know, I've, I've, I've played, at, played in the Big Ten, played against SEC guys. Like It's like, for me, it's just playing my game. And I don't think a lot of that stuff, you know, gets to me in a way, but um, when you play SEC defense, you kind of got to bring it, you know? So I think, um, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job coming out fast and, you know, stepping up to those guys, so. Did you learn anything about the offense uh, or your game in particular that you didn't know before? Yeah, so, I mean, there's, there's parts of my game that I'm always still trying to improve and, you know, whether that's running after the catch or, you know, taking the right steps. Um, but, yeah, I think, um, like you were saying, like our first drive, we kind of had a rhythm going. And, you know, I think that's how, our, that's like, that's how our offense is, is, you know, getting in a rhythm like that and keep pushing the ball downfield. So, yeah. Mac, how excited are you to play at home? I'm excited, yeah. It's, uh, I'm, I'm excited. Usually I don't really like traveling a lot, but uh, it's good to be, be at home and, you know, play in front of my family and all the people and, you know, hopefully get a good craft. So it's, it's good to play at home. Very good. Michael, last question here. Did you notice anything different they did with you as the, uh, as the game went along, either scheme-wise or personnel-wise? Um, not necessarily. I think, you know, we kind of stuck to our plan is, um, you know, to kind of get me out in space and stuff like that. But uh, there was nothing really, really different that I noticed just um, – Kind of just running our base stuff and, you know, yeah, there's nothing really, you know, exotic I saw from different things, just kind of sticking with the game plan, so. My question, you've been around here a long time. The team hasn't lost at home and it's almost 1,400 days, something around there. Like, why do you, why do you think that is? Uh, I think we just come out to play every time we're at Jaeger and it's always a great opportunity to come out and play there. Um, I think we're always ready to go and it's always easier calling, going to play at home and playing in front of your home fans and your family. Um, but I think we've, we've just had a really good opportunity every time at home, and we've kind of kept that streak alive. Um, I suppose most offenses change a little bit from one year to the next. Uh, how well do you think, since it was the first game, how well do you think uh, everybody was able to implement the offense and any changes that you – made over the from one year to the next? I think for the most part, we were pretty clean with our execution. Um, There's a couple young guys playing, uh, a couple new guys that were involved this year that may not have played a ton last year. So uh, getting them kind of going a little bit. Now we have some stuff that's changed, which is good. Um, guys change every year, which is normal. And I think for the most part, uh, our guys handled some of the change really well. Um, obviously, we have some more stuff we have to improve on uh, moving from week to week. But for the most part, I think uh, some of the stuff that 
carried over from last season and some of the change that was made from last season this season uh, was positive and guys are handling it really well. You, know, you guys talked last week about being excited to go into Kentucky, get things going. As you said, I think the offense performed really, really well. Um, what do you learn from a game like that and being against a team that is that big and physical as you get ready even for this week against Robert Morris and the rest of the schedule? Uh, you learn a little bit of where you stack up in terms of uh, who's ready to play in that type of game and who's not. Um, I think for the most part, all our guys really went out there and attacked to the best of their abilities. And uh, it told us a lot about kind of who we are as a team in terms of uh, stuff might not go our way at some points in the game and guys stuck together and were able to just keep pushing and keep fighting. You do have some experience under your belt. What do you think has been the thing that you've picked up the most on uh, through experience that you've gained over the over time? I think for me personally, it's just the confidence in myself and my teammates. Uh, I've seen a lot of football here and uh, I used to, I like to kind of think back on those different games and experiences that I've had and kind of implement those um, into the games that we're playing. And I think the experience only helps that because I've seen bunch of football and I'm able to give that experience and that uh, information to the guys in our locker room. How do you think the defense performed on, on Saturday after really looking at the film? I think we did really good. Um, I mean we flew around, we played very hard against a very good SEC team. Um, a lot of our errors were kind of self-made. Um, I think we could have uh, done a lot better on that kind of side of the ball. Our communication was average um, and we definitely can improve on that. But when you look back on it, um, the yards that game was kind of the yards that we gave them. Um, and they really didn't, um, obviously they're a great team, but we, we really didn't make them earn it. So, but I think we got a lot to improve on and I thought we played super hard and we can go from there. The, the defensive unit against Kentucky, obviously Levis is a talented quarterback. He's gonna find guys, but they do love to run the football. You held an SEC team to 50 yards and you know, or at 90, I think it was, you know, or you know, less than 100, I think it was 50. Uh, talk about the run defense because it was stellar all night long. I think for the past couple of years, we've really hung our hat on our run defense. I think uh, we did a very good job, obviously, holding them to, I think it was 51 yards. Um, and we did a great job uh, game, pre game prepping for that. Um, but obviously, we got to um, hold them to a lot less passing yards to be able to win to a team like that, especially with a quarterback like that. But overall, our run defense was pretty good. Did you, you've got some new faces, as you mentioned. There's been a little, lot of turnover, you know, up front and that. Uh, did you get any vibe or any feedback from the rest of the guys about how they felt afterwards? Um, I know it was a loss, but at the same time, there was plenty of positives that came out of that, uh, especially on the defensive side up front. Yeah, we got a lot of guys to play, a lot of new faces, especially the transfers, um, you know, guys coming up in the program, freshmen, redshirt freshmen that haven't got really any game time experience. Um, for, so for those guys to get that, that time and that experience, especially down in a packed crowd down in Kentucky was, was great for them. Um, they realized what it's like to play a football game at that kind of level, um, which, was, which was great for us and it's great moving forward. They always say, uh, teams, you know, improve mostly from game one to game two. Would you anticipate that being the case with the defense, especially with all the new faces? Yeah, I think uh, we're going to keep getting better each week. Um, each week is a new learning experience with a new opponent, and we, we learn new stuff about uh, different guys each week. And I think everyone brings something good to the table, and we're just going to have to have a great week of preparation no matter who we're playing and keep getting better. Excited to play at home? Yeah, yeah. It'll be really fun. I, I mean, we get a great crowd at Jaeger and we're excited to see all the students and all the fans come back and it'll be fun.